Yeah. Oh yeah, you're dead, bro. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, he's scared. Oh, came in. There you go. He's out. He's out, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back today with some sin action. There were a couple of pillar sin mains back in the XR days. I was one of them, but now we got another one we're gonna have to showcase. A lot of people don't know about him, but he was one of the strongest, man. Definitely one of the deadly sins, if you ask me. Now, before we jump into it, if you guys are excited to watch this in action and how he developed this character and strive, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you guys feel. Are you guys excited to see him play more Guilty Gear? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into it right now. All right, look, after this ad, guys, we're gonna watch some Machibo gameplay, bro. Machibo the Sin God. Look. Yup. Literally, literally, the way I I I process Sin, he definitely is processing the, the character the same way, which is really cool. Cause that's just like a legacy skill, right? Uh oh. I don't know if that follow up is so worth it. There, I be I always think like, is it worth it? Six P putting in work, and then the ads are putting in work. Come on, bro. Bro, look at that spacing though, with the two Fs and the weight. Bruh, it's crazy because back then, actually in Rev 2, this matchup was so hard for Soul, just because of two Fs alone. I wonder like how Soul is gonna be able to overcome this matchup in this game. I'm sure he could kind of like press like six H and shit like that. Or, do, or just do that. That's also really good. Oh yeah, you're dead, bro. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, he's scared. Oh, came in. I always think it's pretty cool how like uh, different types of <laughs> like when when you see everybody who plays that character from like older games play with the new games and like how how they approach it, right? It's like oh shit, this feels like home a little bit. So it's pretty cool seeing this. Oh, he got those. I can't believe that, bro. <laughs> You got the clean hit too. Experts in online education, watching Machiko. Nice follow up right here. My man was playing him crazy. You know, real talk. Uh, Sin's damage is not as high uh, as his like as is the old as his old version of himself. But his damage overall is like really good because it's really consistent, which is really nice. I like where it's damage at too. I, I will hope when they, um, I think when they tone down damage as a whole, it might stabilize to him being one of the high damage characters. The way his uh, routes work. So I'm hoping that uh, when they decide to really fix the game up in that regard, that they we give that. Oh, back dash, hit him with the 2K 2D. I could barely hear the stream. I mean, you understand Japanese? Let me know, bro. You want me to turn it up for you? Oh. Oh. He don't get a com so he don't get a combo off raw dragon punch, right? Counter hit. He don't get a combo off that. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with the patch either, bro. Because it sounds like to me that season two patch is just gonna be changes, like minor changes, and then we're just gonna rock with that. As long as the as long as those minor changes are quality of life. I just want them to make the mid-range uh mid-range bit cleaner. Oh, this is uh this is gonna be fun to watch. I'm curious how he's gonna get out of this. Ty has the same range and he has fast buttons. That's the only reason. Same range, but his normals are faster. That's what makes the matchup hard for Sin in that range. If Sin had the same speed as Kai, it wouldn't be as bad. But because it's slower, it's harder. This matchup is not as hard. The problem is with Ram is just <laughs> she just has broken tools. She's not even playing the she she's not even playing like the same game as like most characters. So it's it's oppressive in that regard. But you know it's funny like if Ram is not if Ram is fighting like a top tier character, she has to play the game. But it's just not those top tier characters. It's like a whole different game. Oh, he definitely tried to punish that far slash. 
Yep. Oh, that was good. I'm still in it. Oh, you're in trouble. Come on, Macho Bro. Are you dead? Is he dead? Oh, yeah, he challenged that. That was good. Now he in trouble, bro. It's funny. Now he in when he in the corner is this. This feels really hard to get out because you don't have buttons to really escape. Yep. There you go. He's out. He's out, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, bro. That six P. I'm not the only one who be watching to get. To lose the random buttons. Nice confirm right there. That was really good. That broke the wall. This is really good. Decent damage. You got positive bonus. Has anybody found any like block streams that uh, Sin could uh, take advantage of abusing the positive bonus? He don't have anything like that, right? Because of his stamina resource. Oh, you're in trouble. He definitely got them Street Fighter Five confirmed. You know what I've been thinking, guys? This has been an interesting thing. Like, sometimes what I've been thinking about how to use stamina sometimes is uh, using stamina to, like, special cancel, uh, super cancel more than to, like, do the follow-up sometimes. Like, when you have, like, the right resources, sometimes it's best just to kind of confirm it. It's funny that I feel like the stamina gauge does more for the super than the follow-up, which is hilarious. Which is hilarious. I don't know if they'll naturally by design but it's hilarious that it can't it worked out intended like that in my opinion this might this might be a wild take but i think uh later on when the game like kind of like gets another balance and they start working on sin i think that step after follow-ups are not going it's not going to cost a stamina gauge anymore if they do that's going to be so scary <laughs> oh that's going to be broken dog Dead. That would be too insane, bro. Yeah, he dead, bro. He dead, bro. Them buttons be clapping, Sin. You have to use your sweep. Hey. You can really see the strength of the character when, uh, when, uh, when Stan is fighting, like, you know, the, the high tiers, mid tiers, low tiers, like you really see like how solid he is. But, you know, obviously in this game in particular, like, uh, the top tier is very, it's very easy to just, you know, kill somebody off like one mistake, two mistakes. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, hey. Are you the clean hit? It's funny because I think Simmons have to count not as bad. Yep, look at him. Use those normals, bro. I'm surprised that Elk Hunt did not get uh get got left unpunished, but I guess he wasn't looking for it. Oh, that was bad. Oh no! It's okay. That was definitely an X third RC. That's why I'm laughing. Like this, def he definitely thought he was playing Rev two right here, which is so funny. Right here, this is definitely an X third RC. It was an X third, bro. Bro, that shit was fun. Up oh, nice. Uh oh. I like I like how they did RTL, bro, in this game. Definitely nice looking. Oh no, he learning. The soul player learning, chat. The soul player is learning, bro. Yep, soul can do that, dude. The funniest part that's the least of that's the least of the problem, bro. It's funny you. I rather tolerate this than to tolerate what Kai can do, bro. My man can just stun them, bro, anytime. Dude, the way he, I'm telling you, the way he's just playing is literally just 
old school ass set. It's so cool. I, I think it's cool. I hope to see him like play the game more. He actually looks really clean. But I know, uh, I'm sure that he's probably gonna play it a little bit more just because Street Fighter Five is kind of done. I'm not sure if Monster Pulse like going to the finals, Capcom Cup. But I think now like it's good to like kind of like just play the game now.